<laughs> Today we've got the screwdriver through the ear, the tar man unboxed, and zombie strippers? The zombie goat boom report starts now. Welcome to the Zombie Goat Boom Report, the show that takes you behind the scenes and showcases some of your best videos. I'm your host, Francis Wilson. From the front page of newspapers, interviews on websites, to feature stories on television news, Zombie Go Boom is making headlines. A few weeks ago, a local Fox News anchor joined us on set to get a first-hand account of what it takes to bring down the undead. Zombie Go Boom is the newest reality show to hit the internet. <laughs> and it's unlike anything you've ever seen. Using real-life situations, these local filmmakers put zombie theories to the test to find out which weapons and everyday objects can help you survive a possible zombie attack. If, when, the apocalypse strikes, that's right, we, uh, we, we give them the necessary tools in order to survive in any situation. I'm Jim Goza. The show stars local actor Jim Goza. His role? take extensive tests on the designated weapon of choice on a simulated zombie head. So far, the show's a hit. Produced entirely in Northwest Arkansas, Zombie Go Boom has partnered with Hollywood special effects companies and recently joined up with one of YouTube's biggest partners, Howcast. We started doing this thing because it was so much fun and we're gonna continue to do this thing because it's fun. And if we're able to get some kind of uh, financial backing, that's fantastic. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep having fun. All right, check this out. The guys at Zombie Go Boom are actually allowing me to be a zombie in one of their episodes. Problem is, I'm not really sure how to act like a zombie. So for that, we go to Chuck, one of the creators. He's gonna take me through zombie boot camp. <laughs> The trick is to not overdo it. Don't uh, get too stiff. Create kind of a nice shape. You know, lift your head up and then you. With Chuck's approval, boot camp was over and makeup was up next. That looked like a zombie yet? Not quite. You get punched in the face. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> and believe it or not, that's me under there. And now that I looked like a zombie, it was time to put my acting skills to the test. React. And after about two hours of that kind of stuff, my day was done. All right, that was fun. A little hot, but that was definitely fun. So you've seen the making of the scene. Here's how it actually ended up looking. Thanks to Brad Reed and Fox 24 News Edge for that story. Moving on. It's one of the most famous zombie kills in movie history, the classic screwdriver in the ear. But would it really work? Jim Goza shows us who'd be getting screwed, the zombie or you. Hey guys, Jim here again from Zombie Go Boom. Now today we're featuring another movie myth, this time from Dawn of the Dead. Now if you remember correctly, in the movie, he sticks a screwdriver into the ear of a zombie and then thrusts in, killing it. Now, we've done some research here and we just happen to have half a human head with the perfect little ear cavity. Now, the human brain is approximately two inches in from the ear, which means I'm gonna have to get a pretty good thrusting force on this to drive it all the way in. Let's see what happens. We got our head, we got our screwdriver. Let's see if this zombie is screwed. Ugh! Screwed. Now, as you can see, this zombie is toast. Now, reason being, there's no bone between the ear canal and the brain, only soft tissue and cartilage. So while you'd have to drive fairly hard, you'd still make it pretty much all the way through. The danger with this is, you're gonna have to get into grappling distance with a zombie to pull off a maneuver like this. And if you didn't dislocate the jaw already, then you could be bitten, or clawed, or pulled down, or whatever. So make sure that if a screwdriver is your method of choice, you are very, very good with it. Thanks, Jim. 
One of the coolest parts about working behind the scenes at Zombie Go Boom is getting to unbox all the kick-ass stuff we get. <laughs> Go ahead. Ooh, what have we here? Oh my god, okay, I think this is a costume. Oh my gosh, ew. <laughs> Oh man, it's got eyeballs and everything. Oh, nasty. Okay, this actually looks like rotting flesh. Not that I've seen rotting flesh, but I mean, really, okay. All right, this looks like a full body thing that we've got here. So you not only have the head right here, which is totally great, but I think you've got, oh my gosh, these look like pants. These look like, chat. these are legit. Oh my gosh, nasty, these are like, Oh, these are like hip bones. Oh, that's so nasty. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've definitely got some bones coming out here. I think these look awesome on me, honestly. I think this is my new look. Nasty bones coming out of the strip leather. Very cool, okay. Okay, I think there's one last piece in here besides the awesome pants and the head. I mean, honestly, do you need anything else? But, okay, here we go. Oh, jeez, okay. This is seriously yeah. grotesque. This is super grotesque. Okay, we've got a full rib cage here. And it looks like, oh wow, okay. This is like a full suit, like this is all like connected to the inside, so you just slip this like right on and off. And it's super comfortable on the inside, this is crazy. Yeah, this is what the front looks like. And then we turn around, we got some vertebrae action. Looks like this guy is not suffering from scoliosis, thank God. So that's the best part probably. And he's oozing out. This is great. Awesome. A good day, Zombie Go Boom. Our viewers are going to get to see the Tar Man on future episodes of Zombie Go Boom, as well as the rest of the awesome stuff that we get in the mail. Back to you, Francis. Thanks, Francis. And where were those strippers I promised you from before? Well, wait no more. We'll leave you with a music video from our friends Toxic Zombie. This has been the ZGB Report with Francis Wilson. Thank you, and stay alive. Of course they're going to touch that you. Hardly we pay seems, them. That hardly seems fair. Why? Uh, they can touch me. I have rights. I'm not a piece of meat. I don't want to talk about this anymore. This is it. We're going in. Swing your hips, desire in your